right then we'll just quickly weld this up with the TIG welder we're putting in the cross brace to hold the plate on top right I've tacked into the side I'll just put about an inch of weld there inch of weld in the side just to hold it in place Right, all I'm trying to do now is put a, these two pieces in there, just put in a half inch of weld there, half inch of a side. All that's for is to put the plate in to separate the burning area from the air vent. I'll now stick the top half in. Right, there you go. I've just welded the plate in there. Yeah. Still warm, still warm. So then the plate will move in and out. I've welded it now because obviously when I put the funnel on, I'll be in trouble if I don't get it right. So, next job is to weld the top on. For some reason, I obviously didn't have the right angle on the cutter. So, it's a little bit off 90 degrees. But for what I'm doing, it's not commercial, so it'll do for me at the moment. Right, I'll just tack this into position. Just tacked it. I'll now weld all this all up. I'll show you a little bit and I'll bring you back in a bit. Right after about five or six minutes of welding, I'm not going to touch it. Well, not very quick, long in any case. There you go. Like I said, it's not quite an L shape, but it'll do for the moment to try it. I'm undecided whether to weld in the plate to stop it coming out or not. But 
rather than putting the legs on and the top on, it should be getting somewhere close. So next job, I'll sit the top on first. Right then, we've got all these in the better position we want. I'm going to now tack them and weld them and then see if they need adjusting. I've just tacked all them, making sure everything's still okay. Yep. So I'll now fully weld all these up. top bit done there. Obviously the plate still fits in there. I'm going to leave it removable so anything build up in there I can still clean out. Anyway, uh, just got to fit the legs and obviously then I'll paint it so I'll get cracking on the legs now. Check before I weld it properly. Right, we've adjusted all the legs and uh, got these on now as you can see. The fire's nearly done. I've just got to weld these couple of washers on here and I'll crack on with that now. I'm now going to burn my table. Right, I've cleaned up the washers, I'm now going to weld them onto the feet. That's one tack done, I'll tack the other two before I start doing anything.
Yeah, they're tacked somewhat. I should be able to. Yeah, I can't move it the way. Put a bit of weld on them. Be very careful that one because I'm holding it. Right, I'm going to weld up the next three, then I'll bring you back when I've fit when all the welding's done. Yeah, right then, there you go. It's still a bit warm. All I've got to do now is get on eBay, get me some stove paint, give it a paint. What I'll do in uh, 10 minutes, I'll uh, put some wood in there, we'll fire it up and you'll be able to see the first burn. So, see you in a little while. Right guys, I've just lit the fire. So this will be its first firing, so I've never had one before so I'm not too sure how these things work. Since you just keep chucking it in or I just don't want to play. So what we'll do, got some water, we'll see if it boils. Like I said, it's just a prototype, I don't know if it needs to be lower or higher, I ain't got a clue. But this wood seems to be disappearing in it anyway, any guys, and look, it's just disappearing. If you look there, as you can see, there's flame all up there from down the bottom. Oh, it's weird, isn't it? The, weird, the wood's actually disappearing, look. We just put it in. What I might do is next time I'll weld this plate in to keep it there.
Right, and there you go. We put some oak in there. The softwood burns a little bit better. But after about four minutes, that pot of hot water is boiling. So there's at least two to three cups in there. So that's a success. Right there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.